The MMDA has clarified that an ongoing drainage systems project and not the Dolomite Beach has caused the recent flooding in the city of Manila. Here to tell us the status of these projects is Public Works Secretary Manuel Bonoan, who joins us now over the phone. Good evening, Sec Manny. Can you explain to us, are these pumping stations really not linked to the Dolomite Beach project in any way? Hi. First of all, good evening, Sean, and mm -hmm. good evening to our listeners. Uh, mm -hmm. um, yes, of course, uh, the... Um, uh, well, uh, the cause of some of the uh, flooding in that area uh, recently is because uh, we are uh, actually trying to uh, um, repair and uh, upgrade the pumping stations uh, in the area. Uh, considering that the DNR has required actually the uh, discharge of uh, runoff water from uh, uh, Inner Metro Manila, into Manila Bay with the longer pipes. No? So uh, at this point in time, we are actually trying to um, complete the uh, young um, um, young pumping pumping stations, uh, pumping stations at uh, point in time. And uh, also, we have installed the discharge pipes uh, of about. Uh, more than 350 meters towards uh, Manila Bay you know, so that you do not pollute actually the Dolomite uh, beach. All right. That so, is a requirement of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Right. So what you are saying, Secretary Manny, is that this actually has more to do with the rehabilitation of the Manila Bay, meaning the water that is being uh, pumped into the bay should now be treated first before it is allowed to stream out into the bay. Am I getting that right? Yes, Jan. Yes, mm -hmm. that, that's very true. That's very correct. That's very correct. And that is also a requirement of, uh, well, I think uh, this is a mandate from the Supreme Court to uh, make uh, discharge, uh, do not pollute Manila Bay. All right. So it, it really, it's not per se the Dolomite Beach, but it is because of the quality of water that is being pumped out into the bay. Having said that, Secretary Manny, when will the construction for these pumping station be completed? We've heard uh, sometime in October. Are we on track to finish these projects by then? Yes, Sean. I think um, our timetable is actually to be able to finish uh, the uh, upgrading of the pumping stations. Uh, by middle of September or the latest by end of September. You know, I think uh, two of the pumping stations will be completed by the middle of uh, September and the other one is actually going to be completed by end of September. Right. Uh, are we expecting this to finish on time, Secretary? Because as we know, we're experiencing a long rainy season this year. It started sometime the third week of May. Will the inclement weather cause any further delays to construction? Uh, yes, I think we're doing our best actually to follow our timetable for this. So as I said, you know, I, I, we are very confident that we should be able to complete the uh, all the works that we are doing in the pumping stations by uh, at least uh, towards the end of, the, of September. Right. Uh, one last question, Secretary. Before we let you go, Pag-asa has said we should yes. expect uh, a lot more rains for the month of August. As we know, most of the typhoons and monsoon rains fall in August. What happens now to the residents around that area in Manila in the meantime, before we finish the construction of the pumping stations? Will floods have to be expected as a way of life until then? Um, we will be in discussion with the Metro Manila, Metro Manila Development Authority on what, um, well, uh, how we can uh, initially address uh, the local local flooding problems in the area. I don't know if we can uh, put up temporary pumping stations uh, as being suggested by MMDA, uh, but this will just be a palliative uh, solution. So. Uh, uh, we will we'll discuss with the MDA uh, having the responsibility for the flooding uh, problems in Metro Manila. Secretary Manuel Bono, and thank you so much for taking our call. Thank you for your time, sir.